Hi, welcome back. This is Eric Thornton. Today we're going to go into installing and configuring Apache Maven and running our first um, Java program using the Apache Maven project object model approach. A couple quick housekeeping things. You can always get here through chameleonmetadata.com. Click any of number of education links there. All of the videos are available and posted on YouTube. We have a YouTube channel, search Chameleon Metadata, and I try and keep up with the useful links for things that have made my life easier as I've gone through learning how to use this uh, open source software. So for today, we're going to go right into Apache Maven. And as with all of our courseware, on the left margin are the steps of what we're going to do. In this case, there's going to be three steps to install it. A fourth, just going over some of the basics of SIGWIN. And then uh, a fifth one, we're going to generate a Maven project and run the Hello World app. Also, at the lower left side of the margin is an email to the instructor. Today, it's me, Eric Thornton, at et at chameleonmetadata.com. And in the upper right corner is a link to the PDF one-pager of uh, the courseware of whatever it is you happen to be going through at that time. So let's just go right in. We'll use that uh, courseware. I'm going to use, I like the indentation on the PDF. So the first thing is to find Apache Maven. We've made that a little easier for you because we've got the live link here for you. So what I did was uh, already downloaded it. It's not a really big file. So I'm going to go to my downloads file and then I'm going to um, extract it to wherever you installed Sigwin. In our case, we installed Sigwin on D, so I'll extract the zip file directly to the D drive. So let's go there. I'm just going into File Manager, Downloads, and there's the Maven zip. Right-clicking with Windows, Extract All. We're going to Browse. Go directly to the D. Notice that the D folder is selected, nothing else. We're going right to the root of D and show the extracted files when complete. So it extracts and we see that a new directory called Apache Maven 339 has been created. So we'll close that person. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the directory to the Windows path. As I've said before in the other videos, whenever we do anything with the Windows path, we have to make sure we start, uh, stop any open versions of Sigwin and start them. And also, don't remove anything from the path. We'll only be adding. Because I want to add the Apache Maven bin, my preferred way to do it is I'm going to go into Apache Maven, the one and the bin directory that I want to add. And it doesn't matter which folder I pick. Just right-click on any of them and hit Properties. Do not double-click it. And once you hit Properties, you can highlight that with the mouse, right mouse click, and copy. And so now I'll, I'll uh, go back up to the D directory. And at this point, um, we're going to add that to the Windows path. From past videos, we know we go Control Panel, System, Advanced Settings, Environment Variables, and the path. In this case, we want Sigwin to be the fifth variable. I, uh, this is why I did the properties. Now I know I don't have any typos. And I'll move it up to position 5. And I'll say OK. If your path variable comes up with just a long string, the older, Scott, this is on, older style, this is on Windows uh, 10 you're looking at, just make sure that the Maven is the fifth entry. So we're going to say OK, OK, and close that. We've now added it to the Windows path. So now we're going to open a Windows, a uh, Sigwin window, and make sure that Maven is installed correctly. So I go to the desktop. Quick note here, I'm going to right-click the icon, hit Properties, Advanced, always making sure Run as Administrator is checked. 
when you run Sigwin. So we open the Sigwin window. I'll bring it down here where it's a little easier to see. And we're going to write in the MVN, which is the Maven header, space hyphen version. And what we see here is really good news. It knows that its Maven home directory is set properly. That's where we added it in the path. It also sees that it's Java 1.8.7, you know, uh, update 73, which we installed in the first video. It knows that our Java home is correct, where we made it, which is great news. And so, all in all, everything's working really nicely there. And we'll go back to our instructions. So we've gotten here. Now, I'm going to open a new terminal window and show you a couple things. I'll just go right through it. The dollar sign is, is like the command prompt. The control C and V do not work in Sigwin windows. So I could do this and do control C. It will copy because I'm in the Windows environment. But once I'm inside Sigwin, these control C and V don't work. You have to use mouse highlighting and a right click with copy and paste. And the command CD changes your, your directory. There's the idea of the active directory. When we run programs, the active directory, you have to first switch directory or change directories so that you're at the active directory you want because everything in Sigwin runs local. And then this ls space minus l or hyphen l, and I even put it in the uppercase here, but you do it in the lowercase, is the long form, and it will give you a directory listing. Should you see a, lot, a listing with a suffix, um, like in, in this file, there's the PowerPoint file, um, you may find that uh, that's a file itself. If there's no suffix, it's a directory. So what we're going to do now, and we'll, we'll do a couple things with the copy and paste, so we'll go over all of this while we do our first Sigwin um, program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to CD to wherever you installed. We did it on D. So I'm going to open a new Sigwin window. And we need to get the active directory to, to the Apache. So CD, D colon, right? Now if I do LS space hyphen L, you know what, hold on a second. Let me redo that again. Oh, and here's another little trick on Sigwin. If I do the up arrow, it does the last command I do. Two up arrows, so and so forth. But if we do it this way, we notice that the next thing we want to get into is, uh, where are we, Apache Maven 339. So my point is, if I go here and I hit, I'm using Control C. If I go into Maven, uh, into Sigwin, I'm going to hit Control V. It doesn't understand what to do. You have to right click and paste and that'll change the directory my active directory is now D Apache Maven. In Windows, that means we're here. Okay? So, at that point, we've changed our directory. And now again, our active directory is the Maven. So, we are going to create, I'm copying this. Copy. We're going to create a project called Maven check. It'll be inside the Maven directory. So we go here, we right click, hold on a second, I gotta move the little go to meeting window. Right click and hit paste. What this is going to do is it's going to set up a folder structure inside the Apache, inside a folder called Maven check. Don't worry so much about this, just copy the command and I'm hitting enter and there's going to be a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of um, lines go by don't worry about them eventually the uh, you'll have um, 
a bunch of uh, downloads come down from Maven, um, and it may take you three or four minutes the first time. Don't worry, it, it almost looks like it's crashing. It's not. But eventually you'll get to this uh, choose a number or apply filter. Um, I wouldn't... Oops, didn't mean to hit that. Just don't touch that and hit enter. Oop, there we go. Just hit enter. Everything, we're just going to accept the defaults. And then we see build success. That's what we want to see. That means it worked. So now what we've done is we have created this. Let's take a minute of what we just did with that statement. You'll notice that we created a project called Maven Check. And notice COM, Chameleon, Metadata, Maven, Verify. So let's look in here. And you notice that now inside the Maven 3.9 is a Maven Check. The POM, this is how Maven works. That's not really for this course, but it tells Maven what to do. And the act of generating a project like we did, in this case Maven Check, creates a basic POM which will run. And if you remember back when we did the command with all of this part of it, com chameleon metadata maven.verify, if we go into the directory source main and Java. Now there's this is what we supplied com chameleon metadata maven verify and there's an app Java, uh, dot Java program in there and um, we can just uh, open him up real quick and all this is going to do is say hello world and every time you generate a project with Maven it puts in this palm.xml again it's not really for this class to go into it we'll go into it a lot going through the clear NLP but um, so it does that and at this point it looks like everything is working really nicely let's uh, minimize that so we've now created our, th our uh, project we now know that there's a directory called maven check we're going to make sure you see we're not in that directory so cd maven check now this is very important because ls space hyphen l we need to be where that palm xml is okay so that's where we are so this is our av uh, active directory now we'll go in and the next thing is we're going to compile the program and then we're going to run it. So I'm just going to copy this right here for now. So the first thing we have to do is compile. And for compile it's MVN space compile. And it'll buzz out a bunch of uh, stuff. It'll download some force, some uh, files if it needs them. So this will be a little shorter or uh, longer depending on if it's your first Maven or not. Uh, this was a new machine but I'm re-recording this so it didn't have to download as much as it did the first time. But the main point we have build success. Then the, the final part I'm going to paste oh, that's, see this is where sometimes uh, it can get a little tricky, so we'll come over here and grab it again. Control, let's see, copy. We'll go into Maven, and we're going to do paste. And this is the run command. And at this point, we'll hit enter. And it may download a couple classes it needs. And you notice the same build success, but this program was a hello world. So at that point, we now know that we have completed successfully installing um, Java, Sigwin, and Maven with the Hello World. Now we're in a position to really start rolling because the next set of tutorials will be the Clear NLP, Natural Language Processing Software. It's kind of one of the foundational elements for doing data science. 
and uh, we're going to need a Unix environment to run it. So now we have that. So with that, this is uh, Eric Thornton for Chameleon Metadata's Learning and Education Tutorial Series reminding you, check our YouTube channel, just search Chameleon Metadata and our, YouTube, our useful links section. And uh, I will certainly look forward to seeing everybody back in the uh, clear NLP, which is coming up next. Eric Thornton saying bye-bye.